Yo, what is good YouTube and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Dark Matter Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, the reward for completing the Bracket Busters set. And this Kareem looks like an absolute god. My question is, is he the best center in my team when you compare him to Yao Ming, Christos Porzingis, and the other top bigs in the game? Before we open the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 10,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day. We're less than 30 subscribers away from that mark. Would love to hit that within the next couple of days also huge shout out to my boy book boof for letting me hop on his account to record this video he locked in kareem probably one of the first people in the world to get this kareem card and i'm really excited to try out this kareem and see how good he really is so kareem is a seven foot two center obviously going to have elite size 99 offense and defense can play power forward as well by the way which means you can play him next to yao or kp if you want to play one of those guys at center which is also really glitchy but 96 driving layup 97 post fade 99 post control or post hook uh, a an 82 three ball which honestly is not bad for a Kareem card. 95 midi, 95 standing and driving dunk, 83 ball handle is fine. 98 block, 96 interior, 94 steel, 93 perimeter makes him an unbelievably elite defender. Incredible rebounder, 92 speed and excel is amazing on a center and a 92 lateral quickness is obviously exceptional as well. So his stats are insane. He comes with 30 base hoffs. Booth did add a few to him, but he's got acrobat, aerial wizard, back down punisher, bully, dream shake, drop stripper, fast twitch, fearless finisher, limitless takeoff, master, post spin, post rise, rise up. Agent three blinders, corner specialist, dead eye, limitless ranger all added i'm pretty sure although corner specialist might not be um but um, i know agent three and limitless range certainly are um it's killer combos i think is also added i'm not 100 percent so certain though post playmaker and quick first step are not anchor ankle braces challenges chase down artist clamps glove interceptor menace off ball pass post lockdown pogo stick workhorse box up beast rebound chaser and brick wall he's got almost every single defensive badge on hoff in the game also gold catch and shoot claymore slippery off ball bailout handles for days break starter unpluckable and pick dodger you can upgrade all of his badges just add anything you want out the badges that he hasn't added already i mean maybe amped or guard up would be good ones to add uh, outside of that i mean he is very very complete real quickly i do just want to go look to see if i can see which specific badges he added to kareem um just to hopefully give us a better picture of the badges that you want to add to kareem as well look in here he added so he's got eight badge slots these are the eight badges he added five of them are um hoff badges which are the shooting badges as well as killer combos so he comes with corner specialist unless he upgraded that one to hoff so overall Kareem looks insane but with added badges I mean he looks like one of the best cards in the game now my question with Kareem is going to be number one his release because his release is going to be very good I have no doubt about that I don't know if it's going to be next level incredible though is my question with Kareem because of the fact that it is still his release it's just on very quick so it's smooth it's easy to green and I think it's a very solid release for sure on very quick it's decently fast it reminds me a lot of Moses Malone's release actually uh, kind of like Carl Malone's release as well it's not like incredibly quick quick even on very quick but it's much better than the release was on normal it's very easy to green it's definitely a very solid release especially with all the shooting badges he has i mean now kareem can green from back here if you shoot with him like i think i can green that shot pretty consistently even with only an 82 three ball you had a shoe and a coach all of a sudden you're looking at a 90 plus three ball and i mean he's going to be an absolute demon with incredible range obviously going to be a great shot creator as well i mean he's not just a shooter he's got the lillard behind the back gonna be one of the best slashes in the game i'm pretty sure they gave him quick drops as well uh half court stakes wise got a good drag back size up is the Kobe escape, which is just fine as well. Um, I mean, there's nothing to say about Kareem other than he's going to be absolutely incredible. He's going to be dominant defensively. Y'all see the player builds amazing as well. He's going to be one of the best couple cards in the game. Let's hop back and let's hop into a game. Let's see what Kareem Abdul-Jabbar can do. All right, hopping into this game. Let's see what we can do. I kind of feel bad for our opponent. He's got D'Angelo Russell, Mark Gasol, Jason Tatum. Not the best team in the world. I should have just shot that with Kareem. I'm not going to lie. We're going to blow right by though. Kareem to the rim. Look at the layup and oh. <laughs> that's pretty glitchy bro he was not open i'm not gonna lie that was not a good shot he was not open but he got himself a glitchy layup animation and laid it in over mark gasol who by the way is an absolutely awesome defender like that is not an easy play by any means and kareem made that look absolutely easy and I'm a little worried about how good this card might be. Shoves, shoves Mark off the spot, gets himself a stop as well. This Kareem card, I understand his release isn't insane, but in terms of all around cards, just knowing that he has a solid release, I think, I mean, I'll say this, you finally might be looking at a legitimate competitor to Yao in terms of his ability to both defend, have the size, have the mashing ability, but also shot creation and shooting, just standing dunks right over Bradley Beal. Brad Beal is legitimately too little. You're never gonna get a stop on him. And that is not the start my opponent was looking for. I'm 
sure of it, but it is exactly the start we were looking for. Getting ourselves a couple buckets with Kareem and a couple of stops. Play the the interior, yes, sir, Kareem. Straight up, he's not scoring. He's not scoring. Recover back out to the corner. Beautiful. Go right back in. Get the board. Beautiful. Nice stuff. Tyler Hansbrough, who we're also going to get a gameplay on later, but let's see what we can get into with Kareem again. Bursting towards the baseline. I could take my dunk, but dunks are overrated when I'm not scoring the ball with Kareem. I want to score the ball with Mr. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar attacking the rim. And ah, I thought he was going to get an and one, but he's going to draw the foul and go to the free throw line with an opportunity to put more points on the board. Free throw release is fine. I mean, it's it's not hard to green. It's definitely pretty smooth, pretty easy, and pretty consistent. He knocks those both down as well, and he's got himself quick, a quick six points in just over a minute. So definitely an awesome start for Kareem. Let's play some defense. Yes, sir. Rotate over Kareem. He's just going to shoot a terrible shot. That's going to be an easy stop and an easy board. And you know what we're doing now. We're getting the ball in Kareem's hands, and we're going to coast to coast. They gave him the Lillard behind the back at seven foot three or seven foot two. He's blown by attacking the rim. Kareem, look at Remos. Completely unstoppable. Mark Gasol just has no chance. And that was pretty good defense again. But top and another game, but let's keep it going. All right, a second opponent. We got De'Aaron Fox, Mikael Bridges, Keegan Murray, KP, and Dino Raja. Not a terrible team, but definitely not a great team. I don't think KP has a chance in hell of guarding Kate Kareem either. I mean, he's like 15 speed, 20 speed nearly. Slower than Kareem. He's not nearly as good of a defender. I think he's going to struggle for sure against Kareem in this game. But let's see if we can just blow right by immediately. And we can. KP too slow. And one. Yes, sir. Kareem with another great start to a game just blowing right right by kp gonna get himself to the free throw line knock down the free throw and he's got himself a quick three to nothing personal lead doing his thing right now already and i think our opponents just like that oh i thought he was out of there after just one play but apparently not gonna have to work for this one a little bit at least let's see what we can do uh good defense by ben beautiful don't let him get anything easy get a hand up that's a tough shot with dino not gonna go down and of course kareem's gonna snag the board as well which means we can run our five out with kareem see if we can just beat k kareem KP off the dribble again as well. Uh, drag back. I was so tempted to shoot that. I'm not going to lie, but I'm not going to shoot that. Uh, we're going to dump it down to Kareem. We're going to take our dunk. Easy dunk. Five points on the game. His speed is just so valuable to center position, I think. Combining that with his size makes him so tough to stop. And he's got five quick points along with a rebound in this game as well. Uh, good defense. Pinch from the hash. Get over Kareem. Ah, he smoked the dunk, though. I don't know what happened there. My CPU's like switched or something, but he smoked the dunk pretty badly. Kareem with a catch and shoot wide open. Green light yes sir look at big remos with another quick eight points another incredible start to the game in this second one as well and he is playing at such a high level right now just love what i'm seeing out of kareem uh good defense yup beautiful and recover back out mike straight up hands up get back out hand and that is another bad possession easy stop and we're leaking out again throw it up to kareem kareem stop size up drag back attack by kp all the way to the rim oh my god he has some glitchy animations attacking the rim, bro. Like, how are you supposed to stop that type of animation? Four for four from the field with 10 points. This card is something special, man. I'm not going to lie. Even with his release not being the best release in the world, it's definitely good enough to where he is absolutely elite as a shot creator. And you have to guard him uh, on the three-point line. That's the thing. Like, you can't leave him. You can't walk, stay off of him. You have, he, He's enough of a threat from the three-point line that he's allowed to be so impactful in other areas that it's just um, <laughs> goes right by KP again. He's dunk he doesn't have to be the best shooter in the world is what i'm saying he's so good defensively he's so quick and so good as a playmaker even off of a pick and pop and things like that such a good slasher so glitchy attacking and he does so many things so well that it makes him very very tough to stop and the fact that he can shoot at all just makes him enough of a threat with how good he is in every other area sizing up again kareem going back to the left all the way inside again another easy standing dunk if he gets downhill you're not stopping him plain and simple this card is insane top back to the main menu and let's review the card I mean, y'all saw it in those two games. Kareem is a different level of center. He is so, so good. Now, Yao might still be better simply because of Yao being so big and so OP on the interior. With that being said, Kareem is, in my opinion, the second best center in the game. He's not the shooter that D-Rob or KP are, but he is the best all-around defensive big in terms of the perimeter and the interior in the game. He's going to be the second best masher in the game inside of, outside of Yao. He's probably the best shot creator out of any center in the game and the best slasher out of any center in the game. Is Yao better? 
probably barely simply because of how OP he is, just because of his size and his mashing ability. But Kareem, in my opinion, is the second best big in the game and an absolutely incredible card. That being said, is he worth locking in 2 million MT for? Absolutely not. I do not recommend locking in this set. But if you do, he is a top tier card in my team, a top five card in the game right now. So that is going to do it for this video. Hopefully y'all did enjoy. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. And I appreciate y'all. Peace.